Rich, I want to ask you this one because um, you know I'm struck by the the close relationship you have with your customers. You know, let's say you're a company and you just create some kind of huge mistake. I mean, the example I was thinking of was um, when, if any of you guys remember this, when Netflix actually tried changing its name to Quickster and everybody freaked out. Yeah. Um, if your brand screws up somehow, like, how do you apologize in a way that kind of gets people back on your side? Yeah. I mean, we screw up every day. Um, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it, but it's, it's, when you're a brand that people love and you love people back and you're, you're pushing forward for them um, and they're pushing you forward, you, mistakes happen, right? And you, you will make a mistake, um, especially in, in, in this world where, where now, you know, everybody can see everything in real time. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, you will make a mistake. I think the, the, the best approach to it is to, is to be humble enough as a company and a, and a brand to recognize when you have done that and to, and to own it, right? And to, to, to be accountable and to be transparent. Was there a situation where you had to do that yourself? That you can think of? Oh, yeah, just a week ago. What happened? Um, we, uh, we, 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 did a, um, we had a campaign running where um, uh, it was 40 different pieces of content, and one of, the, one of the pieces of content was not inclusive of our core consumer. Right? It was a mistake. We owned it. We apologized for it. It's not going to happen again. We're a company that's been about inclusion um, and will continue to be about inclusion, um, and particularly about uh, women who have been underserved and, and black women who have not been served uh, at retail. Um, that's what we fought for. And so we came out and said, yeah, you know, it was a mistake. This is what happened, and it won't happen again, and we'll continue to we'll make the adjustments and we'll continue to push forward. And so the, the, the reaction to that has been um, one of first deep disappointment, which is understandable. Yeah, and, um, and you tend to hear about it in an intense way yeah, on Twitter. Yeah, you, you, know? you hear about it in a very intense way. Um, but if you're a company that is committed to your consumer and you behave that way consistently, um, when you do have issues, your consumers will come back and support you. And that's what we've seen, right? And it's our job to continue to focus in on serving them Mm -hmm. in a way that doesn't make it, um, doesn't make it feel as though they're, they're being excluded, which was not the intent. So I think the being honest about it, owning it, being authentic in the brand that you've built gives you the opportunity to make mistakes and to recover from it. 